this over the last couple of years, just your progression as a whole. Uh -huh. And Chip was obviously someone who was just so complimentary of the progress that you've made. Now coming into this spring ball, you've been able to look back on, on your progression and how different does it feel now? Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that it's, I'm going to my uh, third year, you know, starting at center and, um, you know, just my progression as a player is uh, I'm always trying to get better every single day. Technique and, you know, just finishing blocks and uh, getting my guys to do the same thing. And also, you know, I'm trying to get better as a leader, you know, be the best leader on this team. Um, and we have a lot of good leaders, so it kind of makes my job really easy. And we also have a lot of good followers, too. So, like, the young guys, are, they listen very well and they do as we say. So it's, it's pretty easy for us as the older guys to lead these guys. I know you guys get a ton of reps in practice yeah. and, and a lot of rotations, so a lot of guys are getting in there and not necessarily, it doesn't really matter with the whole depth chart and whatnot, uh -huh. but you know, last year obviously you're, you're dealing with the quarterback competition mm -hmm. through spring and then into the fall ball, but now you guys know who the guy is, and specifically for you being center. How much does that help just kind of going into the spring? I mean, you've got guys like Jeff and Jake yeah. that you guys trust yep. and whatnot, but you know that Marcus is the guy. Uh, I think it helps a lot, you know, to know he's the guy. Um, last year, you know, it was, to be honest, it was a little weird because Brian, you know, he's, he's my best friend and, um, you know, they're both competing against each other. But, you know, now that we know who, we during the season, me and Marcus, we built our relationship to, like, like have, to have a great relationship. And now it's even, you know, through the roof. Um, we could communicate without even telling each other what to do, literally by just looking at each other. We already know what's going to happen, and uh, we go from there, and uh, we both trust each other, and we both uh, have to be the leaders of this offense because um, we have a lot of weapons on this offense, and we got to use them right. How is Brian? Talk he's doing, to yeah. I talk to him a lot? I, talk, I text him every day, you know, every other day. Um, he's doing good. He's um, at a place where he's the guy now, and uh, that's all that matters. He just wanted to play, and I uh, just wish him luck. How do you feel about this, this unit as an offensive line so far? Obviously, you got a couple guys returning, yep. a couple guys that you lose. Seems like a couple guys are dinged up through spring balls, so you might be a little thin through the spring. But how do you feel about the unit as a whole? Oh, it's exciting. Um, the way we've been playing right now with you know having Mana out with that surgery, and then we had Hamani out for a little bit. But um, you know the way our guys been stepping up with these injuries and. Um, with the chances to be able to play at practice is really promising for me and promising for this whole team. Uh, and like just the fight and the strain that we've been having in practice, you know, it's the best I've seen it since I've been here. Uh, you know, wanting to finish a block and wanting to get upfield. And you know, we're 300 pound guys. You know, we're trying to run with the quarterback and the running back when they're going upfield. You know, it's 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 big, um, big, uh, you know, uh, help for the season. How much you guys? How much you talking about guys like Ryan? And Kyle, yeah. kind of, you know, on the cusp of a, a dream becoming a reality. Since yeah, I, uh, we have a O line. We have a group chat. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know. Th that, those messages should never go into the public because <laughs> it's just it's a lot of fun, you know. With Kyle and Ryan, uh, we've all we stay in touch every single day. They ask us about what's going on at practice every day, and um, seeing Kyle and Ryan work so hard to get to where they're at, you know. You know, wait for draft day, and uh, I'm just so happy to see him like this. You can keep it PG, what kind of things you guys talk about? Uh, just calling each other fat and uh, <laughs> what we're eating, and like, oh, you're fat, I'm eating this. It's like Ryan's in SoCal, you know, orders like three double doubles and like two animal soft fries. He sends pictures of it all the time, and you know, just being Lyman, you know, it's, just, it's fun. So it's not just a stereotype? No, <laughs> it's not, definitely. We eat a lot. <laughs>